Andy Montag's now infamous plastic surgery, 10 procedures in one day became an instant controversy. But her extreme makeover comes at a time when Hollywood is ushering in a new all-natural trend. But what do the stars think? Axis investigates real versus fake. I think that people should find a way within balance, within reason, to find their own happiness, and um, and they shouldn't be judged. To each their own is Zoe Saldana's outlook on plastic surgery, but Zoe herself has become somewhat of a poster child for a new and healthy trend, unaltered natural beauty. New York Times reporter Laura Halson's interest was piqued when she saw that Disney was casting only real-breasted women for the next Pirates of the Caribbean. I kind of thought to myself, has it gotten so bad in Hollywood that that uh, you have to advertise for women with real body parts. At a time when 23-year-olds are getting 10 procedures in one day with caricature-like results, Hollywood might be putting the brakes on going plastic. I think, I, I think Heidi of Spidey has actually frightened women away from fake knockers because she has actually gotten enough silicone for everyone. If it is a trend, I hope it keeps getting bigger. Plastic surgeon Dr. Richard Shafu has seen a dramatic decrease in requests for outrageous procedures. Women are going more towards more natural sizes, smaller implants, and, and, and the, 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 uh, the look is still now for more, something more natural. A la Kate Hudson, if in fact she did get a breast augmentation, and adding to Hollywood's less is more approach, high definition television. You can see such amazing detail. You can see the stretched earlobe, the asymmetric brow, the pulled eye, a scar that we may not have seen before. I think the biggest issue we have are women looking too, too similar. Hollywood casting director and founder of Big TV, Lauren Lloyd, says today's sets are filled with lookalikes. You've got to have huge breasts, you've got to have big eyes, you've got to have very full lips, and some faces just aren't built for that. Young women still have plenty of unenhanced silhouettes to idolize, and not every natural beauty is against going under the knife. I think whatever works for whatever woman. I support all women and what they do, whether it's, you know, surgically enhanced or natural. I don't mind. I just say authentic. If, if spray tan and bleach blonde hair is your authentic, go for it. And if, you know, flannel and a little hair is your authentic, go for that too. I just say be yourself. Not surprising, the ultimate playboy's outlook. Girls uh, are most fortunate when they are blessed, and if they're not blessed, uh, it's perfectly appropriate for them to do something about it. But sometimes women regret their decision. Case in point, Sharon Osborne, who's having her implants removed. Believe me, I would have had them taken out before if I'd have had the time to get these damn things out. And already ahead of the curve's curve, naturally small-chested Kelly Ripa, who never felt the need for augmentation. I like myself the way I am. I, you know, I feel like my body's healthy, and that's all I really ask for at the end of the day, so. All right, coming up, Tom and Katie's for...